Hey, what's up guys? Tell me how you're doing great. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you're gonna do sky replacement. We're gonna use Fusion, which is part of the Vince Resolve. This is what I really love about this software because it's a full package. You can do VFS, you can do editing, you can do color grading in one software. So uh Sky's replacement will really help you guys to actually improve the quality of your video. Something you might shoot a video which is not pleasing to the eye, but you can still do a little bit tweaking and then you're gonna bring that to a good quality and your audience will gonna enjoy that. So before we jump into that, uh, we actually shot a small interview with my friend uh, Brian that is gonna talk about himself in a such a cool uh, cinematic video that you guys can check it out once we just finish it up I'll post it on my YouTube or also on my Facebook so you can just uh, have a look at it and give us your honest feedback on that and we would love to improve our skills so guys without wasting any time we're just gonna jump into Devin's Resolve and I'll be showing you guys how this thing works all right let's get it so uh, all right this is the this is my note that we have don't be afraid of this um i've been using you it's also the same thing even if you've been using after effect i'm just gonna break it down for you guys how uh, this thing works real quick so we're just gonna go back to our editing note and then this is the footage we have our uh, sky replace which has been tracked also i'm gonna show you guys how you're gonna track this footage down so you can see the footage is moving along with the with the sky so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna disable it, and then I'm gonna bring the still the same footage because I just wanna keep that one as my reference, the one that I did. And then from there, for this one, we're just gonna click there and go for Open Infusion. Just gonna wait for it. All right, there we go. So we have our input and our output. Just gonna click about. You're just gonna click on your keyboard uh, one, then it's gonna open on the second screen. Uh, this is the first screen, and we have the second screen this side. So now we're gonna bring down our sky, which I went to Photoshop. And I did some because uh, I wanted to bring it down, just remove out of the thing that I, uh, I didn't want to see in the in the sky. So just go back to, just go back to fusion in that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring down my sky. I'm gonna bring it down here. And if, uh, what you have to keep in mind, you need to rename your note so that you can know which step you're going you're going with. All right. So for this one, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rename this. Uh, I'm gonna call this running because I can see my guy uh, busy running. And then this one, I'm gonna call it sky. I'm gonna rename it sky. All right. So we have our sky and then we also have our, uh, the guys running in the footage. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to have to merge these two into one node. Not really like, uh, you guys understand what, I, what I'm, I'm talking about. So I'm uh, just going to hold down here and then we're going to hold down control plus space. Uh, we're going to use the node uh, merge. I'm going to click there and then there we have our merge. So one thing that you need to keep in mind that uh, we have here our background. This is our background and this is our foreground. So we're going to bring this guy here. Before we connect those ones, we need first to work on the, on the footage. So our, what, which note, the note that we're going to use to actually remove this guy that we don't want to see in the footage is Luma Kia. You can see that in After Effects, you can see that in uh, Nuke, um, almost in the uh, VFX uh, software, you will see that. So uh, we're gonna open that control plus space on the keyboard and then we're gonna tap Luma. Luma Kia, there we go. I'm just gonna bring it. As soon as we just bring it in, you can see that uh, some of the thing has been removed in the footage. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to inverse. We're gonna bring it that down. And then we're also gonna have to just play with the channel so that we see what part of the footage we wanna remove. And one thing you need to keep in mind is here. Yeah, if we go down here uh, on the channel, you can see it's luminous, which means it's uh, the part of that that has lights uh, in this in the footage. That, that is the one that we, we're going to remove. So, okay, so we're just going to bring it somewhere about here. This, I'm also going to show you guys how you're going to remove this very nicely and it's going to help you. Because even all the edges that we have here, I'll be showing you guys how you can just treat that very well. All right, just going to bring it up and maybe about here all right so we're good to go i'm sure you guys are saying man but dude you you're busy messing up the whole footage now let's just go back on the lumen luma key 
and now we're gonna just draw it maybe uh, i think we're just gonna grab some of this uh, uh rectangle that we have here just gonna bring it here we're just gonna bring it maybe about here all right uh, actually i would prefer to just draw that by myself so that i can do um any i can add any details that i want to see from that so we're just gonna draw some from here just gonna bring it down here all right there we go and now we're gonna connect it to our lumen key all right as you can see um you need to go to you need to invest that and then we have our fridge wide clean but now you can see the edges is not that good so you have to you have to come to the soft edges here just gonna bring it up a little bit and this is this this is one thing that i wanted to show you guys let me just uh, let me just zoom in a little bit and show you and you can use this technique in almost you, you don't have to actually clean up your your edges to make them look very good but you're just gonna have to draw any mass around it but once you just soften that a little bit it's actually gonna hide all the the all the mistakes that you actually left behind and now um, uh, once we have our, our sky in there you're gonna see how that will line up very well all right i'm just gonna bring it down a little bit for now because i don't want i don't want it to be too much just gonna leave it from here so we have our sky here right so i'm gonna connect that as the background there we go so let me see this is our I think this is our background I just made a mistake here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna disconnect that. I'm gonna bring it here. I'm gonna bring it this side. I'm gonna bring it here. I'm gonna have my sky. Let me see, this is, um, this is our foreground and this is our background. All right, so let's see what we're gonna do here let me check again this is our background all right we're gonna put this one here and then this one will follow yeah all right there we go so now we have uh so now we have a background which is the sky and the foreground which is the the footage so i'm gonna go i'm gonna use a node transform because i need to bring it up a little bit i'm gonna use transform add there we go i'm gonna bring it up a little bit so guys check this out because we actually are uh, faded up a little bit with our polygon here on the edges if i bring it down like from here you can see that uh it's not really well lying up but if i just bring it up a little bit and just fed the edges a little bit you can see it's it's very good it's very good and uh, so now one thing one thing that we have to do now we need to track this down because as you can see uh it's not really uh it's not realistic it's very bad so what we're gonna do now we need just to track the the footage we need to track the the, the sky so it's actually match up with with the footage so just gonna bring it up here and now we're gonna use a tracker so for this one we're gonna use a planar tracker I'm gonna use the planar tracker there we go and then uh we need actually to just click that and now we're gonna draw i'm gonna do something like here i'm gonna track that down all right there we go and then you just need to line it up a little bit quick like i'll uh, just make it look nice and there's that thing that you need to to just keep in mind whenever you're doing this so our trigger we have point motion type we have uh, perspective so i want to change that because we have we have transitions we have rotation we also have scales which mean there will be writing and there will be a motion that are going to happen in the video so and uh the output i just want to change it to background and uh, pre process i don't know how you guys would call that it's just gonna really fast then so from here what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna go to the last frame and I'm gonna set a frame the way I wanna track from. So I'm just gonna click set and then gonna run it back. Just gonna wait for it. 
Uh, there we go. So now we're just gonna create a planar transform and this is what we have. So we're just gonna bring it here. Just whenever you click, if you wanna put it, if you leave it here, it's not gonna, it's just gonna stick on. So you need to hold on shift and then you let go. Boom, you're good to go. So we're just gonna bring this down for now. We don't wanna see it. We have our sky there and it's very small. So what we're gonna do now, because we have our transform, we're just gonna bring the size up a little bit. Boom. And if we play ball footage together, I'm just gonna run that for you guys to see how smooth it is. And there we go, guys. So if we go back to our editing uh editing page, and you can see that it's in there, it's wall track is not moving, and the footage is just falling along with the the, the footage that we have in there so this is an amazing technique that you guys can use just to actually level up your skills and i hope you enjoy this tutorial so guys there's uh there's a lot of tutorials on my youtube uh just subscribe uh give me that like button that will help me to grow as well and i hope i'll be seeing you guys in the next tutorials peace god bless